Hola, me bishes. Tis I, Clovis, aka Manny Bish, over on Instagram. And today we are doing Beetlejuice nails. So I'm going to be using CN Designer Dips Spellfire, which was a freebie over their Labor Day sale. And I am going to be using their Milky White for this Manny as well. So we are going to jump right into this. Oh, look at how cute these cupcake liners are, too. I mean, so cute. So they were a dollar at Walmart. So I'm just going to be dumping these into my cupcake liners because my nails are a little bit longer than usual on the hand that I'm going to be doing this, which is going to be my right hand. So I'm using my non-dominant hand for this. So I always try and do the fun things when I'm using the wrong hand to draw it with. But I digress. It came out fine. Um, so we are going to be doing um Spellfire on my pinky fully. Then we're gonna be doing a French on my ring finger and my thumb, and my middle finger will end up being half and half, and then my index finger will be milky white. So we're just gonna like kind of speed through the majority of the dipping part because the nail art is the more intricate and interesting part. I'm going to be playing with some non-stick uh, molding gel. I don't even know honestly what it's called. It's just non-stick 3D gel. Maybe there you go. Non-stick 3D gel. So, if you want to skip this all and go check that part out, totally understand, but that is in the video later. So, for my French tip, uh, I really should have not done this in the cupcake liner, which you'll see me switch around here in a second, um, because it was a little difficult. I was dipping straight into it, wasn't really liking the curve that I was getting, so I'm kind of like tilting my finger around side to side to just get it right you know, and then with the rest of it, see, kind of pushing to the side, trying to get it in there and make it the curvature, the smile line that I want. And then on the rest of the nail, I'm going to pour over some clear. And this is my Kira Sky Clear. I do really love this clear. Um, yeah, peep my hair in the corner there for a second. Um, and so... Uh, you can see here, I don't know why I've been having a little bit of a struggle with, like, my glitters drying properly. So, I mean, once I kind of see that it's kind of picking up after using my scrubby brush, I just kind of pat it back into place and it's fine. But I have been having a struggle with that for whatever reason. So I probably just need to let it sit a little bit longer before going in with the scrubby brush so but anyways we are dealing with it and it's coming out just fine so now we're going on to my Frenchies and I am just so I'm doing just two layers on all of these nails and see I switched to my dip tray which is at a better shallower angle and just holds the dip powder differently instead of in just one pile like the dip like the cupcake liner so that's what I'm doing for this second layer so I can just get it better you know without having to really struggle and then we're still just pouring over that clear um that's gonna be it for these nails for now and then I am going to be going on to my um, milky white. I'm gonna leave that glitter out because I am gonna come back to it here in just a second. So for this one, again, this is just my full milky white, um, nail. And I am again doing just two layers on these guys. Um, for this one, I am using a piece of tape to divide where I want this, like, color block situation to happen. So the top of my nail cuticle area to about mid to diagonal point, I wanted it at a diagonal. I didn't want it just straight across. 
So this, the top part is going to be milky white. So I'm going to go ahead and do my two layers of milky white here. I, it is going to, I did kind of get on the tape, which is fine. You're going to see the whole situation here, me taking off the tape and everything. Um, and I am going to just let that, you know, hang out for a second. Then we're going to scrub it off and get into the second layer for both of these. I am letting it just chill out again, my middle finger there on the tape for just a second longer since it was the last one to go. And I really love the way these nails came out. They were a pain in the butt a little bit, but you'll see, like, I'll explain why in a second. But, um, I, they were, mm, chef's kiss. They're already off, but yeah, they were, they were the best. So, and also, I know this video is long. I'm sorry. It's way longer than usual. Um, I usually try to keep my cap at like 16. This is almost 20 minutes or it will be 20 minutes after I add the pictures in at the end, but I think it'll be worth it if you guys can just hang in there and watch it or just skip this whole dip powder, powder, powder part and go to the nail art because I think you're going to really like it. So here I am just kind of letting that harden a little bit. Um, you're going to see here. Because I do run into a little bit of an issue right here. See, it didn't... I kind of picked up a chunk from it. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix that. I am literally going to go back and tap it on. And then try and hold it down with my finger and get it off the tape. And then I'm just going to line it back up and press it back down. <laughs> now it's not perfect. It's still a little jagged. But at least I don't have such a big chunk missing. So you can still manipulate dip powder if it's still a little wet. As long as it's not completely dry, you still got some time to manipulate it and touch it with your finger, mold it around. You can do it. I actually do it more than I would like to admit. So yeah. So for the bottom part, I'm not using any more tape or anything to block off the white part. I am just going directly in, trying to stay away from just right up to that white with my dip powder, um, with my dip liquids. And then we are just going to dip right in to Spellfire in my little dip tray here. And then we are going to clear cap all of these beautiful nails because I do not want any pigment or glitter or color or anything going anywhere. So we're going to do this and I am going to activate well, we're going to scrubby brush, of course. Got to scrubby brush all that clear off um, for the loose particles. If you don't, if you're not using a scrubby brush, when you use clear, you could potentially still have some like, it looks like little specks, but it's literally the clear that's like left over and didn't get fully absorbed. So if you use a scrubby brush, it will like reduce that so much significantly to the point of not even existing. Especially if you're doing like French chips, those little specks can be more obvious. So now I am um, activating and we're going to come back after I'm done filing and buffing and we're going to get into this nail art. So you can see that like the first half of this video is literally dip powder and nail art will completely be the second part of this video. So I am taking black and I'm taking a long liner brush and I'm starting directly in the middle of my nail here and only on the white part. I am going to be doing some stripes here because, you know, the iconic Beetlejuice has got the stripies. So I am going to be doing stripes here on this guy. Um, I'm also going to be doing stripes on my index finger, but I'm going to make that one go by a lot faster just because I mean you're watching me do it here on this diagonal nail and it's just stripes so I am doing this with my left hand which is my non-dominant hand so I'm working so slow here but I am literally putting my whole hand on flat on my um nail desk and I am 
like just try like I'm using the whole desk to brace myself I've got my whole hand flat and I'm really just like trying to work my wrist or like make it one fluid motion it was a little hard and I, you'll see here that like I'm also doing it in like little intervals not doing the full line at once because I already knew that if I tried to do that with my non-dominant hand it would I would be starting over so many times so I'm really trying to focus here got it done and I will say that the hardest ones were these ones on the sides just because of the angle and everything of me trying to do them but we did it so now we're going to do the exact same thing over here on this guy. And again, I'm just like trying to speed this up because you watched it. But I also want to show you like it on a full nail, if that makes sense. Because, I mean, things are different from half a nail to a full nail. I know they probably are not completely straight. Got a little bit of diagonal, leaning, crooked lines here. But... I really wasn't going to be like super picky about that part because we're going to have a bunch of lines on it anyways. Now, if it was horrible and like completely leaning, yeah, I would have fixed it, but not that big of a deal. So you'll see here, like we're just getting through this, doing these lines. I will not be doing any lines on anything else. Well, actually, that's a lie because if you've seen the... uh cover for this you, you know but um anyways uh the clip clip art no what thumb thumbnail wow what in the clip art where i'm like going way back to early 2000s okay anyways um this is our non-stick situation and i was like what when i opened it i was like what is this and i was like oh i w this is the first time i've used this experienced this didn't have any clue what it would be like so here it is and so I am just picking this up trying to scoop it out you're gonna see here that it's very like webby when you're trying to separate it so I'm like really trying to have to get those little strings out of there and it's so not sticky though it's definitely accurate it's not sticky I'm just rolling it out trying to make like a little worm guy here and I wasn't sure like in terms of how it was going to stick to the nail or not because you know it's not sticky I've had my fingers all up on it oils and stuff I did make sure my hands were like clean and I used hand sanitizer before hoping that the alcohol would like kind of dry them out as hand sanitizer does um I wasn't sure how this was going to stick or not I gotta say this stuff is it stuck. It There was no issue with this stuff. Sticking, staying to the nail, curing. There was no issue, like, at all. So, you're gonna see me here. Like, I'm just playing around with it, trying to get it to do what I want it to. It took me, like, two or three times with this first nail. I'm just lightly pressing it down to make sure that it is, like, on the nail, but still has that halves. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. Still has that, like, roundish shape for the sandworm. So, I'm going to cure that for a full minute. And here I learned that, yeah, just use your cuticle clippers to cut it off and it'll go by, like, so much better. Now, with this nail, I had an issue only because I felt like I couldn't get it to lay. Like, it was me, okay? I couldn't figure out how I wanted it to lay across the snail and everything that I tried, I didn't like the way it looked. So I was like, this nail took me like three times as long as the pinky for me trying to figure out where to lay this thing at. But I got it. Now you're going to see that my um, worms there are not the same size. They're not. One's a little beefier. One's a little skinnier. But, you know, we're just, we're going to ignore that and we're going to leave it alone. Okay just shh, it's okay now I am going to be painting this guy these guys completely white I'm only going to show you um painting and color coloring in one because they're both exactly the same 
uh, no, you know, anything going on. It was easy peasy. I'm painting the full nail, then curing for, uh, a minute, painting the full worm, that is. And I am just, it was really easy. Um, it moved around just fine on top of the gel, being cured and everything. This, my, um, gel paint did. So, no issues. I am using a 3D acrylic brush for this part, actually. Uh, just because it was thicker than a nail art brush, I could get more paint across the board quicker. So, work smarter, not harder. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes my brain's actually working, and I do it. And I'm gonna go back in with my liner brush, and we're gonna do those stripes again. And you're also gonna see that, of course... One snake's beefier, the other skinnier. My stripes are going to end up kind of the same way too. But the thing about Beetlejuice, it's not perfect. And the sandworm, it's just creepy. So we're just, you know, that's that situation. Has anybody tried the Beetlejuice Fanta? The Fanta Fanta? Don't you want a Fanta? Okay, anyways. um, Fanta, has anybody tried it? Because, oh my god, I like it. It, okay, I had a TikTok trying it, so if you want to check out my TikTok, I'll leave it right here, but, um, I did a TikTok on it, and, oh my gosh, my son really liked it, I liked it, it's, it took me by surprise, it's spiced apple flavor, so I was getting, like, thinking it was going to be more just, like, green apple, no, it's spiced apple, it's called haunted apple, and, yeah, it's particularly spiced apple, apple, I feel like you can taste, like, nutmeg, something else in there. It's giving me, like, caramel apple sucker. So, yeah. But my sister, she had a genius point of view on it and was like, you know, at first you're like, eh, don't really like it. Then you're like, okay, I do like it. Then you're left with, like, this, eh, it was all right, but I really don't know how I feel about it kind of thing, which was on brand for Beetlejuice. And she's not wrong because you just, like... Yeah, I don't like him. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, he's all right, but yeah, just whatever. So I agree with that, that like, because some people aren't, they're like, ew, what is this? But it was on brand. I agree with my sister on that part. So anyways, back to the nails. I am top coating now. Um, you seen with the little snail, snail guy, what? No, the sandworm I did go in with a liner brush to just make sure that I got around those edges of that guy to really make sure that he stayed in place and everything and uh I only yeah showed one nail on that because both of those nails to top coat did take me like a hot minute because of the 3d situation and trying to work around it and then get all up in it and everything so yeah but I do recommend a liner brush in terms of that. Just to make sure you get it all across the nail and all up in those little crevices. And we're not done yet. I know. Well, okay, we are done. But you guys are going to see me mix up the screen. And it's going to be glow-in-the-dark green and a little bit of darker green. So it's not as translucent. And then I'm going to go on top of it with green chrome. But my battery died. So this is as far as you're going to get. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you're going to see the end result right here because I charged my phone and then came back to show y'all. But, sorry about the drips not coming through. But this is my end, Manny. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's free to you. Helps me out a ton. But, yeah, this is Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Has anybody seen the second Beetlejuice? I haven't seen it yet, but I really want to. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Anyways, I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, bitches!